Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here. Hey, um, I just did a recent review of this plane, the X320, but some of my viewers had uh, questions on how could a two-channel plane possibly utilize gyro and accelerometer stabilization to maintain level flight. Well, that's done by variations, quick variations, of the speed of these two motors. Uh, so let's give an example. Say the, the aircraft does a, or is about to do, an uncommanded uh, right roll caused by a gust of wind. A gust of wind comes along and tries to make this plane flip to the right. Well, what's going to happen, folks, is this left motor is going to increase speed, um, yeah, increase speed to cause additional lift on the right wing to try to bring it back level. And simultaneously, this left motor is going to decrease speed to cause this wing to lose lift and drop back to a level uh, position. Now, some people are also saying, well, if it does that, it's also going to cause uncommanded yaw, you know, pushing the aircraft to the left. Well, that is true if that variation were held for a long period. But keep in mind that this is not just detecting the roll, it's detecting the roll just as it starts. And how it does that is this also has accelerometers in addition to the gyros. The accelerometers detect that this thing is starting to roll so that these motors can come into play quickly and counter that roll before it even occurs. Okay, and by doing such, uh, it happens so fast that it doesn't have time to yaw because of the, ma the mass of the aircraft. That, that momentary variation of these motors don't aren't, isn't going to occur long enough to cause the aircraft to yaw. And I want to demonstrate that real quick, you know, quickly. And the best way to do it, it's real simple, is just to turn on the aircraft. And we'll do some simulation of um, yaw jiggling such, such as from gusts of wind. Turning on the transmitter, binding it. Now I'm going to get, again, now I'm giving it a little, um, a little throttle. Now let's bump it around like it's being buffeted in the wind. And listen to the motors as they vary in intensity. See how quick that occurs? The same goes for upper down. This is the counter uh, fugoid oscillation. So you get the fugoid oscillations, they'll do the same thing to try to stop that the fugoid oscillations before they even occur. Cool, huh? And that's how a two-channel plane does it. Looks at that. You go to isolation. <laughs> Just tries to cut it. Speeds up on the top. And on the bottom of the roller coaster ride, they slow down. <laughs> so, okay, so that's how a two-channel plane does it. Uh, pretty ingenious that they were able to come up with this. Uh, you know, when I first saw them, Come out on two-channel planes. I said, "There's no way that's going to work." Well, yeah, they do work, and it works very well. Okay, it's Quadcopter 101. Hope you enjoyed this little uh, educational video. <laughs> Quadcopter 101 signing out. Hi, Quadcopter 101 here again. Hey, if you want to get your own shout out in one of my future videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's real simple. Just go to my channel page and click on that subscribe. And also make sure to click that bell button right next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified when I release a brand new video immediately and give you a chance to get that first shout out. So give it a try, folks.